all right hi everybody i hope everybody is doing fine today we're going to look into the diagrams as done by the archangels group of big the sort of diagrams are a very clean tell a clean story and uh, it's very consecutive how they have uh, you, you arrange their uh, kind of timeline and very consistent kind of style of graphics so i've just gone into their website and this is i think one of the towers that they're doing in new york called the spiral so see how the clean the diagrams are today we look into more of the 3d type of diagrams maybe the 2d section and elevation diagrams i'll do another tutorial okay so today we'll just look have a look into uh, kind of recreating this kind of effect we know we won't do it exactly like this but we'll kind of take the concept behind it so just when you see the image you realize that basically it's just a it's a render a clear render with a, a white render with no materials as such but shadows and then the building that is in design or is in subject is highlighted with this kind of a border and small lines and then uh, rest of like the design feature is also highlighted in a color so basically what you're trying to stand out trying to uh, discuss about stands out particularly in the in the image so any kind of feature that you need to show a road or like the landscaping as such as shown over here can be like highlighted and rest everything just adds uh the, like a, adds just like a background effect to the image all right so let's just get into it so yeah here uh, so i've just downloaded this image from cad mapper so just a huge shout out to cad mapper so cad mapper is a site in which you can download uh 3D and 2D images in all these formats, Rhino and SketchUp and even Illustrator formats up to 1 km square for free and if you need more than that you'll have to go for the paid version. Okay so let's just go back to it. So the first thing when you get into uh, the CatMap file is better it's best to go to a layer so it's a good thing that they kind of give you all the stuff in layers. So I've switched off all the unwanted layers so I'll just switch them on back to show you what all is there. So we see there's all of these kind of we need the buildings uh, we can we need the topography also that kind of adds to the image uh, but we don't need uh, railway lines the water uh, lines so you can just switch them off so that you know get a, you get a, get a cleaner image you can even take off the contours remove the coastline and keep the outline because that's the roads uh, and leave that also on now the first thing you need is a render so just to get a clear render you can just go to your settings of your V-Ray with the V-Ray settings and go to the settings icon at the last with uh, this symbol then uh, just go to the material override section and switch it on and let it come let it be in like a grey color or you can let slightly adjust the color then one more thing you need to know is that when we kind of take this image into photoshop for editing it again we need the render and the image that you see over here in the viewport that we're going to use to be in the same size so we need to adjust our render output sizes so what you need to do in that is go to your aspect ratio in your render output i think in the newest v-ray you can directly adjust it but i'm using a little bit older version of v-ray so so those who are using the older version can follow along and the other one i think is already there and under custom set under this aspect ratio settings i think it's already written as uh, render to viewport size or something like that so for those who can't see just go to custom then you get these options so and just click this uh, icon called get viewport aspect so when you kind of click that it automatically aligns the aspect of the render to the aspect of the image or that sketchup is kind of working on so after that let's just give it a render all right so let me just let the render happen looking good and right now we need to kind of export a good clean image with lines so right now you see there are like thicker lines over here and then thin lines we just want it to all to be consistent so let's go to styles and go to your default styles and click hidden line Styles and just click hidden line yeah 
So when you go to hidden line, you see that you have kind of you get a kind of a consistent style of lines. That's good. Uh, yeah, and you can just let the profiles and all off and just keep the edges. Yeah, so that's a good clean image. Let's just export this image. So let's go to file, export 2D graphics. Then click your format as JPEG and then save as a JPEG. Just replace the older file. I just use number desktop. All right. Now this is let's import that image into Photoshop. So we get the size as we want it. It's a new file. All right, that's looking good. Now what we need is a render. So we just put a render. Yeah, so kind of good enough. Let's save this render. Okay, so we'll just save it as a JPEG. Let's name it as render. So this is the old file. Okay, I think that's saved. Now just just take that render image again into Photoshop. Okay, so we have a background image. We we'll just rename it as outline. Okay, now what you need to do is put your outline image over your render image so that you get the lines over it. And just set it to multiply so what multiply will do is it removes kind of the white part and only like gives you your black outlines yeah so we, you already see that we're going to kind of getting our desired effect but we need the render to be uh, sort of more clean and white so that you know it's not like a distraction with it's all these gray tones so that's easy to do what we need to do is first set a black and white tone to it as a filter after that the the filter that does the magic is the levels one so yeah you set your levels one and you see all these three uh icons to adjust them so just take it to the left side so it kind of makes all the mid tones and all going to the left even this one side to the left and you can even use this one makes them all a little more cleaner all right so that's kind of uh, what we need so now we have a base ready so if this is our des desired building for example we need to kind of highlight the boundaries so let's just do that so let's take the pen tool you can either click it over here or use three for pen tool and we will need to select the shape not uh, as a path of pixel we need a shape so we can adjust its fill and stroke right now we just give it as only a stroke of white sorry black all right okay that's looking good now just let's give it a boundary let's slowly go the boundary good So after since it's a shape, we can even adjust the shape after it's done. So you need to see it's not a little straight. So let's just select our shape and adjust the control points. Or you can even draw it more slower and accurately so you don't have to adjust it like how I'm doing it. Alright. Make sure your building is covered and you don't see the edges. You can even export it as a into Illustrator so you can even adjust line by line but this is kind of an easier method. Maybe I'll do it as another tutorial. So you see now we have uh, an outline. You can even adjust a little bit more so that it aligns to the building. Alright. Okay, now let's just give it a little less thickness. 2.5 is good enough. All right. Now to add uh, to kind of highlight the design feature, let's just color these 
stepped protrusion gardens over here like as you know sky gardens just go over them again to pen tool yeah like that the silver things all right and so what we need to do is give it a fill and not a stroke so let's remove the stroke give it a green color fill yes it's looking good we adjust it a little bit looks nice even maybe the top one so you can export the image according to the size of the sheet that you're presenting if you want a higher resolution one just in sketchup settings you can export a higher resolution image just color the top one So after what you can do is you can select this outline line as a first shape and bring it to the top. So it covers all the images. So you see now we have like a clean line. So we can even add the base shape so that you get a relationship with the ground. So let's just add some kind of landscaping here also. Just keep go along the boundaries. the stroke and a fill of green it's ideal always to draw it as a shape for the pen tool because you can even you can adjust the settings later it's much easier just slightly deepening it so it looks good from perspective yeah that looks good now let's just go back to the image okay they also even have trees it's an easy thing to do so what you need to do is just make a tree shape which is basically a circle and a small rectangle underneath it so let's just go to the shape tool select your ellipse let's draw an ellipse and let's give it like a darker shade of green that looks good now let's draw the bark of the tree this is a rectangle tool Center, make it slightly thinner, not that thin. Let's move. Let's move the curves. Yeah, that looks good. Now we can just make them into a group so it's easier for us to copy it and scale it in some sections. Alright, so it's a little too big right now compared to scale building. Yeah, that looks good. Let's copy it down here. Make some multiple copies. Side. Yeah, it's looking good. I'll just let's just add even a shape over here so it kind of shows a relationship with what's happening outside. Green thing over here. Yes, spot the stroke and give it a fill. Oh, stop in the Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, so we're kind of done with the graphic. So let's just go back and have a look again. So what, one more thing that we see is that this image is kind of a square. It kind of reinforces the, the design building at the center. So let's just crop the whole thing. Set it to one to one square over here with the all settings. You can even adjust it a little bit. So it's totally completely in the center. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, so that's it guys, that's how we make it. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. 
more tutorials coming up soon maybe more of big diagrams and even other forms diagrams if you want to see more any type of spe any specific type of diagram please let me know in the comments below yeah that's it for now thank you for watching peace